is Ian from RTO here. Welcome to a birthday top 10. Now today we have got to wish Becky a happy birthday. Now we've done Becky last year. We did the US top 10 on the day she was born, 16th of November 1974. So this year I'm going to tell you all about what was in the top 10 here in the UK when you was born. 16th of November was a Saturday and it is Generation X um, good generation that's my generation as well your star sign is Scorpio of course and the Chinese Zodiac was a tiger for 1974 now we, our Prime Minister was Harold Wilson and it was his second term as Prime Minister now we had two um, general elections in 1974. One at the beginning of the year, one at the end of the year. Um, the first one was called, and there wasn't a, a majority. They couldn't um, get a coalition going, so they had to have another um, general election. I know, remember that because I got two extra days off school. So, what about people's birthdays today in the music world? Well, for starters, it's Eric Judy's birthday today. Yeah, now he's the rock bassist of Modest Mouse. Well, he was born in Issachar in Washington State. Uh, 1962, Josh Silver, a uh, keyboard player with typo negative, was born in Brooklyn. Also in 1962, Manny. Or Gary Mournfield, who was a bass player with Stone Roses and Primal Scream. Also today is the birthday of Christian Lorenz. Now, may not remember the name, but he's the keyboarder from Rammstein. Now, he was born in East Berlin in East Germany. And it is American singer um, Brian Abrams. Um, remember him from Colour Me Bad? It's his birthday as well today, born in Oklahoma. The only sort of news that happened today that ABBA begun their first European tour outside the first time they played out of um, Sweden in 1974. But we're not up here about that. I'm sure Becky would like to know what was in the UK charts on the day that she was born. So let's cue that music. Okay then, at number 10, up seven places. Pepper Box by the Peppers. Now this is a song, I don't know if it made it in America, but it's one that I'd totally forgotten about. But when I heard it, I remembered it. Uh, I remembered this, it was pretty groovy. Great little track. Uh, number nine, up one place. I'm sure you've heard of these, the Stylistics and their song, Let's Put It Together. Yeah, my granddad used to like this song, because he used to sing it in the greenhouse. <laughs> yeah. Even the, even my granddad in 1974, he was singing pop songs. Okay then, at number eight, down one place, another American band, The Drifters, and Down on the Beach. Great little song. Um, I remember when I was a the lad, I wasn't much into it, but as I got older, I really enjoyed that. Okay then, at number seven, down pl three places for the Bay City Rollers and all my... All Me Loves Are You. Um, at the time I was not owned to Bank City Rollers. My cousin who was a year older than me was really into the um, Bay City Rollers. She'd got all the time and all the business. And I, as I got older I now appreciate them and it's a great track from my childhood. Okay, number six, Down One. A song from Slade, my favorite song by Slade, Far, Far Away. From the, fame, from the film Slade in Flame. Uh, I've watched it again, it's on YouTube. Go and watch it if you're a Slade fan, it's there. It's a great track, absolutely brilliant track. At number five, down two places, Barry White, You're My First, The Last and Everything. You cannot dislike this record. That voice, that, uh, yeah, it's a croony voice. Great little track. Okay, number four, down two uh, for Eddie Holman, 
Hey there, lonely girl. Never liked the way I recorded in 1974, and I still don't like it in, in 2023. Not my cup of tea, one little bit. Okay. Down, number three, down two places. Last week's number one. Everything I own, Ken Booth. I'm not a fan of this version of this song or Labby Ziffries. There's only one version of this, and that's David Gates from Bread. Now, a lot of people think this is about a song breaking up. It isn't. David Gates wrote this song when his father died. And I wish people would not think the rest and don't think that it's it's a Nabi Sifri song or a Ken Booth song, because it's not. It belongs to Bread, and it's the only version I really like. This one's not too bad, but uh, yeah, let's, I think we'll move on, shall we? At number two, up one place for Queen and Killer Queen. I remember watching this video on Top of the Pops. Freddie had this sort of black furry, feathery thing on and black na um, nail varnish. But it's a great song, of course. So, at number one, we had a brand new one, number one, this week in the UK. Up two places. The first of two weeks at number one for David Essex and Gonna Make You a Star. What a classic track. I mean, I don't know if it got big in America, Becky, but uh, it was a big hit over here. So there we go. There is the UK charts on your birthday, Becky. I've put them in a playlist, so if you've never heard some of these songs, you can go and listen to them. All it leaves me to say is have a great birthday, Becky. And uh, I will see you all later on the live stream. If not, I'll be back tomorrow when we've got a a huge day we've got journey live and we've got two new albums to look at we've got the new album from fog out sonic mojo and the new album from gong an ending ascending so have a great day it's just getting darker and darker here <laughs> can't believe how dark it is and i will see you all soon take care for now